Jor-El Jordan, huh? Brian Gerwitz. I see you're writing raw. You sneaky fuck you. Are we going to have next week jor -El have his little baby brother show up, Kal-El? For fuck's sakes. Three hours of Raw is too goddamn much. I'm beginning to skip through a lot of bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. I am seriously not gonna lie. I'm telling you guys the truth. Like, I had to skip through so much bullshit because, oh my god. Just kept on going with nonstop bullshit. And having to hear Michael Cole for three hours. Goddamn, Corey Graves is there. It's a refreshing thing, though, because Corey Graves is awesome, but it's Michael Cole at the same time. I miss Mauro Ronaldo. I'm looking more forward to watching SmackDown, because SmackDown has two hours and has the best commentator of all time, well, besides Jim Ross. Mauro Ronaldo, because he puts a fucking passion into this shit. Oh. Michael Cole is just bland as fuck. I was just saying, my god, okay, so Raw starts out with a bunch of talking. And talking, and talking. Enzo Amore and Big Cass come out, say they're bullshit. Chris Jericho comes out with a scarf, which he, I think he's pretty much ripping off the. Ah, uh, what the fuck's his name? The guy from TNA. The one that wears a hat and looks like a porn star. It's The name is in the back of my head. I I don't even know anymore. He, he tag team with a bunch of people. He he fucking he uh, got engaged to this girl on in a w in a indie ring. Joey something. Oh my god! Why I can't remember his name. He has a porn star mustache. Look, looks like a porn star from the eighties. I'll probably figure out his name. I was gonna say Joey Salads for some reason, but there's no such wrestler named Joey Salads. Maybe, who knows? Joey Ryan, that's his name. How can I forget Joey Ryan's name? That's how Raw fucked me up tonight, because, like, my God, I was so bored. Yeah, Chris Jericho, I swear to God, is kind of ripping off Joey Sal. Why am I calling him Joey Salads? Fuck! Ah, uh, Joey Ryan! Looks like Chris Jericho is ripping off Joey Ryan's look, minus the. Porn mustache, but he is growing a mustache. I don't know. Just kind of reminds me of like that. So, we got Enzo and Cass taking on Team Canada of Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho for SummerSlam. Hey, I'm rooting for Team Canada. I'm rooting for my hometown boys. It's Canada. I gotta go with Canada. I'm not gonna go against them. It's Kevin Owens and Jericho. By the way, what's up with Jericho? Making up names and then saying like, oh, I wasn't looking at you, I was looking at him while he was looking at Big Cass. By the way, is Big Cass related to Perry Saturn? Because he has this whole eyeball thing going on, going on. Because like Perry Saturn had one looking the other way, one looking the other way. And Big Cass always looks like he's about cockeyed there. Every time I look at him, he's like, although Big Cass is amazing, I just can't stop looking at his eyes of like how kind of going this way. It's almost to that point. Uh, and Mick Foley looking more like Captain Lou Albano every fucking day. Except he doesn't have the uh, rubber stamp. I can't speak today. Rubber thingy that you put on your fingers. Rubber thingy. Fuck. Man, Raw was boring. Uh, the rubber band on his beard. Uh. Uh, Sasha Banks took on Dana Brooks. Winner, it'll be either if Dana Brooks won, it would be a handicap match at SummerSlam. But Sasha Banks won, so it's like her against Charlotte. Okay, that'll be good. Dana Brooks, though, my God. Fuck, she's hot, but in, can go. My God, Dana Brooke, dude. My, no wonder you covered him up. I'm just saying. You, I'm just saying. Ah, uh, so we got another week of Roman Reigns going after Rusev. 
for the U.S. title. Hey, as long as it's not for the main title, I'm happy. But does anyone else think they're going to make it into a fatal four-way match on how it ended on Raw today? Because, like, Cesaro wrestled twice on Raw. First against Sheamus in a very boring match. And then against Rusev. And Rusev won. Sheamus came down to interfere. And Roman Reigns came out later. So um, pretty much it looks like they're going to go for a fatal four-way match. That's what it looks like what they're doing. And anyone else find it funny that Daniel Bryan is like veering off script? Look, It looks like in saying what the fans are thinking like, Universal title, really? Or are we going to get a Milky Way title? I just love how he's just bashing the shit out of that. Ugh. Also, they showed some retrospective of Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton. Pretty cool that they show him from the OVW days. I didn't think they were going to do that. And we actually hear Brock talk, because that's something you don't hear most often Brock talking. Because the guy hates talking. And still, I'm not looking forward to this match, because like back in the day when Brock was first started, when he was actually caring, when he actually cared about wrestling, did he actually care? When he actually did shit in the ring, it would have been something. But now he's going to do suplex after suplex. I understand he just does suplex, that's his thing. But it gets old really quick, so we're just going to see that the entire time. Yay! Puff Daddy showed up. Yay! Oh, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, this, this fucking DX thing from back in the day where like they dressed up as doctors and started talking about nut jokes. Wasn't that funny? Not really, you know, background that's very shit. Talking about Biggie's nuts, got stomped to death, and showing his eggs in a bottle. <sighs> PG friendly, my ass. Talking about nuts. Uh, okay. I don't know anymore. This Raw just w went on way too long. Not the best Raw so far. I look more forward to SmackDown because it's two hours and Raw was just way too much. You can barely remember shit what happened. Ru like, Lana came out in a wedding dress looking fine and shit. And you know, every time they have some kind of wedding thing on a Raw or SmackDown, some shit's gonna happen. And of course, Roman Reigns comes down, does his thing. Still gets no cheers though, because he's Roman Reigns. Ah. Oh well, back to the drawing board. But like I said, at least he's not going for the main title this time. Oh my god, the Dudley boys, man. I feel so sorry for them every time they come out. How the mighty have fallen. Man. Oh. Seeing the Dully boys every night on Raw is just sad now. Because they're just there. Devon got fat. I'm just saying, he got fat. He's not even hiding it. They took on Neville and basically the gimp from Pulp Fiction. Sinbacha. Mania. Sinbachi. Singara. When he botched another thing too, like went through the ropes and said like, no, no. He was going to do something, but then Bubba Ray did something. So I'm going, what was the point of that? Did Sin Cara botch again? I guess he did, since that's what he's well known for. But either he looked like the Gimp from Pulp Fiction or Black Panther, one of the two. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah, this was a long-ass Raw. It took way too long, and I was just really, really fucking bored. Oh, Awesome Truth had a stupid vignette at the end. Talking about the mystery machine and Scooby-Doo was there for some reason. Why are they still together? I thought they were going to break him up or something. At least that's what I thought when, like, r Truce was being an idiot last week and, like, lost the match because he was playing Pokemon Go. Okay. They're still together, I guess. Oh, my God, Ron Killings, what happened to you? What happened to you? Oh, Darren Young versus Titus O'Neil, week two. Yay! We're going to get more exciting matches between these two. Remind me of the back of the days when Tess and Albert went at it after they broke up. How riveting was that? Uh, and Bob Backlund. I'm not even sure he knows what the hell he's doing. Because he's Bob Backlund. Because he's looking utter shit all over the where. Even the commentators are saying, like, what, what the hell is he looking at? Because it's Bob Backlund. You don't know what he's up to. He does his own thing. I'm... I'm betting, I'm wondering, like, if commentators were wondering what the hell he was doing. While well, Derek Young was being beat and Bob Backlund was just off, looking off in the distance. Because it's Bob Backlund. He's a crazy fucker. He is crazy. 
So get more for Riveting more Darren Young Titus O'Neil matches. Yay. Fucking yay. <sighs> the eye roller of the night. When Rusev said for the love of mankind or some shit like that had the word mankind in it. While Mick Foley was in the ring, I was like, oh my god, really? First Michael Cole at WrestleMania when Shane McMahon jumped off the cell. Now this. Fuck. But anyways, good thing I finally finished watching Raw. On to SmackDown, which is a better show uh, so far with Mauro Ronaldo with his commentating. And it's two hours. But yeah, that's all I have to say. I was not impressed by this, this week's Raw. Anyways, take it easy, guys. Humanoid Freak out. Bye.